council members. Um, we stand strongly opposed to Bill 59 CD1 for a number of reasons. We feel that the rewrite in many ways uh, is even worse than the original. Um, we do recognize that the intent of the council is to pass this bill out, and if that is the case and we can't do anything about it, we um, highly, strongly recommend that you address these uh, several issues. Definition. The bill must be rewritten to further define expressive activity because it is too vague and unenforceable. For example, how may a police officer discern what is, quote, the principal object, unquote, of an expressive activity? And if discerned, what percentage of that principality of expression would be measured as exempt? Additionally, the bill states that expressive activity, quote, generally would not include, unquote, sports events, etc. How would a law enforcement officer discern what activities are generally included? Number two, homeless persons. There is no ca caveat for homeless persons in this bill. The bill is now more than ever penalizing for homeless persons in the districts it covers. This application of this ordinance on homeless persons may be construed as unconstitutional, and it will. If this bill, as has been said by the drafter, is not intended to target homeless persons, then the council must remove words that disproportionately apply to homeless persons in the definition of the offense, such as words that include tarp, towel, sheet, blanket, sleeping bag, words that, uh, the, well, things that the homeless use for the only comfort they have when sleeping. Furthermore, if this bill was not intended to target the homeless, then the penalty of this ordinance should not apply to the homeless who have no capability of paying such fine. And at, if we want to encourage them to be active members of the economy and get themselves out of poverty, we would not find them thus and make it even harder for them to carry that extra burden. Lastly, with regard to homeless women and girls, it is, a well, know, it is well known among, among both homeless population and social service providers that is, it is safer to sleep during the day, I underscore this highly, and be awake at night. It protects themselves, it gives them an extra added layer of protection against sexual assault and assault. And then, language contradictions. The bill, just give me a few more seconds. The bill contradicts itself. It says uh, people who lie on benches are, are exempt, and then it says that they aren't exempt, and then it says they're exempt again. Um, if you really want to indemnify this council against for future lawsuits, I would suggest putting in a two-year sunset for this bill. Um, thank you. The rest uh, is in my testimony. Okay. I do note that uh, you have submitted written testimony, and many of the points that you raised are included in that um, right. written document. Thank you. Members, any questions for Ms. Xiong? Okay, if not, next.